Hello everybody and welcome. This is the first of a three video part series with Dan Krantz, the CIO of Keysight Technologies. Dan, welcome. It's lovely having you here. Thanks, Candice. Good to be here. Cool. I'll be asking Dan a few hard questions uh, with regard to the vision of a forward thinking CIO and how best to plan for that. I'm Candice Arnold, Chief Marketing Officer here at Eggplant. Now, Dan, if the last year has taught us anything, it has been that the role of the chief information officer has really been crucial to businesses running seamlessly, irrespective of where your employees, customers, or partners may be. And that has really elevated the role that you play. Um, and so this video series is to try and dive into what is it that you do first? What is the sequencing? What are the trends that you need to look forward to? But in particular, what are the challenges that you need to over overcome? Um, if you look back over 2020, what would you say were the biggest threats to you know, running a successful CIO operation? Yeah, so so Candace, for us, I mean, boy, the past 12 months, the biggest challenges for us at Keysight, you know, with the COVID pandemic, we what we decided to do is a rally around as an entire company around three priorities. And it started with employee health and safety, um, not starting with you know, the company. We started with employees and their health and safety. Then second priority was keeping the company strong. And third was to set uh, an objective for all of our teams around the world to support local communities where we live and, and operate. So those were our priorities, employee health, safety, keeping the company strong. So now as a technology company, we produce solutions that combine high performance proprietary hardware with differentiated software, and it's wrapped with professional services. So much of that hardware that we make can only be developed in specialized physical workspaces in our offices around the world. And when COVID hit and we had to have employee safety top of mind and having people socially distant, we needed to reconfigure all of our, our offices uh, for those the, the people that needed to be there to physically work with the hardware and the products that we make. And we need to have everybody else go and work from home and connect in remotely um, so that we could do that. So the challenges for us uh, were really four things that we needed to accomplish. The first and foremost, the obvious one in all CIOs we're having to deal with this was beefing up remote access network infrastructure, helping employees to connect in remotely uh, and do their work. But that's not where it stopped for us. The second thing we had to do is we had to rewrite our infrastructure playbooks. Uh, this is from how we manage PCs to servers, to the networks themselves, everything we had done because of being a hardware oriented company, we had a very on-site approach, a very people oriented approach to running our infrastructure. And we had to quickly pivot to digital first, really embracing the concept of infrastructure as code. The third thing we had to do in the challenge last year was to rethink our whole legacy monolithic application architecture. We had on-premise large uh, applications but we're moving into software. We're moving into how to go to a fast moving composable architecture with best of breed cloud solutions combined with our legacy on-prem systems, rethinking that whole architecture while dealing with the pandemic. That was the third challenge. And then fourth and finally was quickly shifting our cybersecurity program. We had been largely a perimeter based cybersecurity program, protect the perimeter at our sites where our infrastructure is on the sites to now our digital assets are everywhere. They're not no longer in the offices. We had to shift our cybersecurity to a borderless information security program, um, all while maintaining employee health and safety uh, as people were dealing with the high stress situation of a global pandemic. Yeah, it becomes the fabric of how you actually do business. And that's very much in line with the KPMG 2020 CIO survey that uh, set out the priorities that CIOs were facing. You know, the first one being improving operational excellence and efficiencies. Uh, but then the third one, which is very interesting, where CIOs were very focused in on providing new products and services to the marketplace, enabling the workforce was you know, a new entrant to their priority list uh, and sounds very much in line with some of the activities that you had taken out um, within the key site fold. I wanted to just check, given that as a backdrop, what does 2021 look like in terms of the priorities that you're going to be focusing on for the year? Yeah, so we've, uh, for the, the year we're in now, 2021, what started last year, uh, sort of a, a chaotic approach to digital transformation has now become a rallying cry for us at Keysight. Our digital transformation is all about the external customer needs. 
we have at Keysight a, a, a business model. We call it the Keysight Leadership Model, and it defines a, a set of processes that circle around the heart of what we're all about, which is customer success. Keysight's customers, by the way, are technology companies like we're a technology company. These customers are the innovators, the technical innovators that are changing how the world works. They're changing how the world communicates. They're changing how the world is going to move with electrification. And our digital transformation needs to cater to these customers on three different ways. The first is we need to change what we offer to them in the first place. Instead of just proprietary high-end hardware, we need a much richer mix of software that goes with that hardware so that we can iterate faster and bring new capabilities to our customers at a pace that they now need. Uh, they're, they're trying to move at a much faster pace. As an example, 5G wireless technology, that is still stabilizing in terms of the protocols and standards. And we've had to, to iterate quickly um, uh, with software releases that, that deliver the new protocols that get developed. We've been working on this, by the way, since 2013, but the pace at which the 5G standards are evolving has gone from changes that were once a quarter to changes that are now happening nearly daily um, on that. So number one on our digital transformation is offering more software in the mix to our customers. But the second thing is just like we change to remote work and engaging digitally, our customers are changing how they engage their suppliers, how they engage us in Keysight. Uh, so the customer experience uh, from whether they are digitally discovering and learning about how to do business with Keysight to a frictionless uh, online transaction with us to the post sales customer relationship where they can nurture their partnership with Keysight, that entire customer journey is being reimagined in our digital transformation. And to make that successful, our third dimension to our transformation is our Keysight experience. The internal processes from product development to sales, to the fulfillment of orders, to the post-sales customer service, end to end, all of that needs to be completely uh, overhauled with a much more digital first approach, enabling people to uh, work at the pace of digital transformation. Now, given that you have a raft of experience with your six years at Keysight Technologies and two years in the tech space, what would you say forward-thinking CIOs need to be prepared for in terms of their priorities and trends coming up? Yeah, I'm seeing I'm seeing three things, really three trends that characterize digital transformations happening all around our industries. Uh, those three words are really speed, flexibility, and experience. Um, so on the speed front, everyone's trying to figure out how to compress their cycles. Uh, maybe they were delivering value once a year in terms of new capabilities. Now they're trying to figure out how to do that quarterly. Or maybe some industries value is delivered every quarter. They're trying to go to monthly or maybe monthly is now being compressed to weekly. Everyone's trying to go faster. So speed is the number one trend. The second trend, though, what we've learned with the, the situation over the last year is we've got to be more flexible. Um, it's hard to predict what's going to happen, and we've got to prepare for the unexpected, anticipate and be able to make change before it's too late. The third is around experience. And here I'm talking about user experience. Uh, the consumer experience is now shaped by the ease of use that's coming from companies like Apple and Netflix and Amazon and Google. They've all raised the bar on what it means to use technology just infused with our daily lives in a very intuitive way. And it sets expectations for that experience to be very intuitive in the B2B context that we typically in Keysight are, are dealing with. So those are the trends, speed, flexibility, and experience, and they all demand technologies uh, as the answers. And so on the speed front, what we find is that the only way to go faster is with better automation. Uh, we had some limited automation in the past, but we've got to find ways to have even more powerful uh, automation that really can help us accelerate. The second, the one around flexibility is a really tall order. To be more flexible with your entire technology stack really demands that you shift from monolithic architectures where you've got all of it in one large complex system to a disaggregated composable architecture with API driven information flows. So you can make changes to the small components here and there and be much more flexible and dynamic uh, with what's going on in the marketplace. And then third, the user experience is a challenge that uh, I have not found a lot of technology out there that is easy to help us uh, solve it. 
until we found eggplant and uh, started working with the eggplant team, which is finally a way to help us measure digital experience with our, our architecture. And so I find that those are the three capabilities, automation, uh, hybrid cloud, uh, composable architecture, and frankly, a way to do better testing of user experience and measure it. Um, and that'll bring speed flexibility and user experience at the, at the pace of digital transformation. No, oh, I love it. Um, I love the focus on the user experience because you know fee, fee, speed and flexibility may mean nothing if the user isn't pleased and if it, if it isn't a frictionless experience. So that at the core is absolutely fundamental to uh, I think somebody crafting a digital first approach um, to both you know customer as well as employee experience. Thank you, Dan. I've really appreciated today's conversation. There's some really great nuggets of information that you've uh, delivered to us. You've been a delight. I look forward to our next one where you mentioned the um, exciting word eggplant. I'd like to tap into the whole notion of speed as it relates to automation and software testing. So get, getting your thoughts on that would be really uh, quite insightful for our next look video. Look forward to it. Look forward to it.